How you doing? First, I want to say thank you for allowing me to come in front of your eyes. Um, you know, this is my very first YouTube put up on the spot sort of thing. So uh, I don't really know what to say. So that's why I called my whole segment. I got something to say because I don't know what I want to say. But when I say it, you know it's going to be true. It's going to be real. And it's just going to be what it is. Now, my very first thing is that I want to say... Um, I appreciate the whole fact that we have this internet thing, that we have these computers, and I'm, j I'm not trying to praise everything. It's just that I can come out to you and speak about, like I have this, this new book that's going to be coming out soon. It's called For the Love Of. I, I can't wait for that to come out. That's going to be awesome. Um, and then next I want to talk about, you know, all some of the adventures and stuff that I've been in. But the first thing I want to talk about is Ronald Reagan. Fuck you, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> I mean, because now Obama did something to kind of clean up what you actually put into play. Um, if you remember, back in the early 80s, you know, man, I'm talking about my age now. You know, I'm just saying it. But back in the early 80s, you know, George Bush, sorry, Ronald Reagan, came out with this whole thing about getting getting more people in jail for having a little bit of crack than did for cocaine. And, you know, Brothers was really selling it. You know, I mean, let's be real about that. There's a lot of people that were selling it, but Brothers was selling it primarily. That's why you see a lot of Brothers in jail now. Because that's back, because they made that, that you have crack. So then because you have that, you get more, you get more time for that in the same amount that you have for the powder cocaine. Okay, well, fuck you, Ronald Reagan. Don't you know team the thing now? Crystal. Now, now, what you gonna say? You gonna say now that me having a, a little bit of, of, of tea, <laughs> if, you know, in a crystal form, is more than, than having the powder form of crystal? Because you can crush, crush crystal right on up, and it becomes the same amount. Are you going to say that you're going to put me in jail for it? No, because when the police come and get my ass, they're going to give me the same amount, whether it's the crystal form or this form. So in other words, now we shouldn't think about crack no more. <clears throat> you know, we got this new thing out, which has been around for a while, but now, you know, should, hell, they're not thinking about that when they're locking my ass up saying, oh, you got a gram of tea, whether it's powder or crystal, they don't care. 50 years. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. And no, it's not 50 years for the first offense. But you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, so what I'm saying is Obama, you know, I like to call it the crack law. The the, the new the, the the you know, fixing what Ronald Reagan did. I like to call it the crack law because now he made it that the fence is a little bit higher. It takes a little bit more uh, uh, crack or it takes a little bit uh, less time for the same offense as Ronald Reagan put into play. So now that gives brothers a chance to come up and do what they want to do, which is feed their families and try to get over, because you had to rob to get rich in the Reagan era. You know what I'm saying? You had to rob to get rich in the Reagan era. So, you know, now he, he fixed that as far as I'm concerned. And I mean, now I do have a little bit of concern about the fact that now that he did put this into play, there's a lot of brothers out here and a lot of white dudes, and a lot of Hispanic dudes, okay, let's just call it the whole Skittles fucking rainbow, that come out here and do this do, and then, and now they're not, you see, back in, okay, let me put it like this, back in the day, when you, when you did, it was, it was your local hustler, it was the local sweet daddy Williams, I call it now a pimp named Slipback, but now they, they're called a lot of different things, but they were more than just a crap dealer, they were more than just the hustler. They were Robin Hood. Back in the day in the early 80s, when you asked in New York, when you asked these kids what they wanted to be when they grew up, they wanted to be the crack dealer <laughs> because they were feeding their families and they were taking care of the neighborhood. So I'm not trying to glorify, say what they're doing is right. I'm just trying to say that, look, the image was personified. <laughs> You know, it manifested itself. And now that Obama still came out and, and made it, you know, livable again, that, you know, and I shouldn't say that, it's, that he was glorifying anything either. I'm just trying to say that now he made it that, hey, people brothers have a shot that if they get caught, mess up, 
whatever they want, that they can put their lives back on track a lot easier than it was when you have a little bit of crack and you got 13 years off the rip. So that's, that, that's what I'm really saying. That's what I'm really saying. <clears throat> so, I mean, I just saw about this law, and I remember when I saw off the boondocks where he talked about, well, I think Obama legalized, uh, you know, trees. You know, Obama legalized weed. No, he didn't legalize, no, he legalized what? <laughs> but he did, and he didn't make it legal for still, still drugs. It's just that he made it a lot easier for people who now lost their way, which I'm going to say a lot of, there's a lot of um, pimps named Slipback, as I like to call it. There's a lot of them out there right now that is doing the do real big in in this whole game and hey you just got to do what you got to do you're doing it and but some of them don't care about the communities like they used to some of them out for the money and they'll bang bang shoot them up as soon as they possibly get it to kill you for it they don't care about what's going on and and how it's affecting the whole um, neighborhood and affecting themselves affecting their families you know, there was, I, I know it's hard to say, Can is this an oxymoron to say you had conscious drug dealers? You know what I'm saying? Is, is there, is there, is there, is there is an oxymoron to say that? I don't think it is. But you had, but back then, your local hustler, which in your local crack dealer, your pimp or whoever, they was conscious back in the day because they didn't want to destroy the neighborhood. They just wanted to get over and give back. Giving back was their social conscious method. But now... <laughs> you got these young bucks, and I know I'm, I'm. I know I look like I'm Power Ranger, but I need help from the gate. You got these young bucks; they out to do they do. They out to, they'll kill you for they do. And now, so now he now so that's my bad part about it. Obama has lowered the standard now. <laughs> so now you got these folks out here who. Um, are not worried about their neighborhood. They want they yeah started feeding their family, but now they want to feed their ambition, and they and their ambition knows no bounds. Shoot them up, shoot them up, bang bang. There it is. That's what the gangs is all about. That's what it's about. It's about land, landlord against the landless. That's what it's all about. So I just wanted to bring that little seven minute segment up to you. I just thought that was that's just what I had to say. I had something to say. I got something to say, and I said it. I feel like Obama did a, was doing a, a, a somewhat of a service of trying to correct Ronald Reagan uh, and fuck you, John Wayne and Ronald Reagan's uh, thing. But now, I feel like the way that the social conscious method is and the mindset, these folks do not care. You don't have no more conscious crackheads. You don't have any more conscious crack dealers or pimp dealers or Tina dealers or GHB dealers and X dealers and all that other shit. You don't have all that. What you have is people out here trying to make that dough and that dough, that almighty dollar will kill you. <laughs> that um, it's, That's what's killing folks. It's not the drugs. It's not that. It's the almighty dollar. So I'm just letting you know. That's what's killing out everybody. And I think Obama might have, he should have did something, kind of tweaked it a little bit, but I'm glad that he came in there to try to do something about Ronald Reagan's mistake. So I just said what I had to say. Peace.